So Betty, have you ever squirted? No. And you know what? I don't want to learn how, and I don't think I'm missing a thing. I've never squirted, but I had one boyfriend that said he, when we were having sex during intercourse, he could feel a little shoot of liquid hit his penis, which I felt was just like vaginal lubrication. Very possible. You know what I mean? And so what does it mean? It wasn't an orgasm. Did you, you come know? at the time? Did you no. have an orgasm at that moment? No. No. Well, I didn't even know what happened. <laughs> you know, I will be very honest. I think the whole G-spot concept has set female sexuality back years and years. Because when I get these young women writing in and saying, and they describe the perfect build-up to an orgasm, they say, but it couldn't have been an orgasm because I didn't ejaculate. So we're modeling after the male sexual response model all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Arousal, climax, ejaculation. Yeah. And the male model of sexual response does not work for women. Now, what is female ejaculate, the fluid? Because I get this question. I was at a cocktail party last weekend, and so I was like, what is female ejaculate? Well, even Beverly Whipple, who mm -hmm. and the, at all that wrote the book. Who discovered the G-spot, just so you know. Well, it goes back to Grafenberg. That's yes. why they called it G. But Whipple really put it out in the mainstream. She, in the mainstream with the other people that she worked with. And you remember Alice Lattice. Yes, I love Alice. And she, at the beginning, she wanted her chapter at the beginning, and they put it all the way at the end. What was her chapter? And her chapter was about uh, something about don't let the, the best get in the way of the good. Oh, which is that, I like that. Got it, which is the concept that, oh, we have something new, and now that's it, and we're going to forget everything. Yeah, forget the clitoris. Let's just focus on the G-spot. Uh, I like that. So she said in the book, and they all agree, that the true female ejaculation mm -hmm. is no more than a teaspoonful. And it's kind of similar to prostatic fluid, in a way. Well, it's, it's kind of a whitish, milky, thick, thick thing, and that squirting... It's when you squirt a, out of the vagina. That's something else altogether different. Now, ostensibly, when they wrote the book, it was to help these poor women who thought they were urinating when they had an orgasm. And it's interesting because it turns out that's what they were doing. A lot of it's fresh urine when they squirt out across the room. Dilute urine. It's coming from the bladder. And I will tell you, if you're ever on a porn set for a squirting video, they're drinking, like, uh, gallons uh, 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 of water. But that's entertainment, and that's something that they have to do to make well, it happen on command on camera. I get that. It's Yeah, but it's entertainment at the expense of young women who don't know any better. It's okay for us. Yeah. We've been around the block. We know. But for these young girls, they see this, and, of course, the guys, they're bonkers. You know, I know. Oh, I, well, she had an orgasm that left a pile this big on the bed when we had a, a, a squirt spot. Sometimes I can have my biggest orgasms and not be lubricated at all and need additional lubrication. You know what I mean? Like, why? I don't know why we tie one to the other because they're very separate. Sometimes I'm very lubricated and I'm not turned on. Exactly. And I you know I always had partner sex and to this day I will have my dildo. I lose extra lubrication. Always. So we, we take lubrication as a sign that we're really turned on. And it's equivalent to the male uh, uh, erection. The man gets hard. The woman gets wet. Sorry, there have been times when I'm so horny and I'm dry as a bone. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> you know? So it's just that it's misinformation that is being pumped into the marketplace because what do we have? G-spot toys, yeah. G-spot books, G-spot videos, G-spot doo-doo, and da-da. Right. That's and why, I like, you make it simple. It's about the combination of orgasm, vaginal uh, penetration with clitoral stimulation. Both. And you want both. It's not either or, and it's not about a spot. You know what I mean? And exactly. It's, and if you want to ejaculate, know that if it's real ejaculate, it's only a teaspoon. We, don't, you, we call that squirt. And if you squirt and you like it, do it. Good for you. Put down a little wee-wee pen underneath your sheets. Squirt your face off. Have a great time. <laughs> and it's gotten to the point where the amount of liquid a woman shoots defines her quality of orgasm. Yeah. And then the women that I know really well who are in the biz and The professional squirters. The professional squirters, they say, has nothing to do with an orgasm. It's very, yeah, it's totally separate. The reason I have been able to stand my ground, because they say, that's wonderful, Betty, you never succumb to the, to the hype. And that is because the quality of my sex life 
which has been extraordinary. extraordinary. And the amount of sex that I've had has been extraordinary. And I have been so successful sexually that no one can tell me that I'm missing anything. I know I'm not <laughs> missing a thing. And that's the big difference. You can't fool me. Yes. And that's when they went for the vaginal versus clitoral. Same thing. Honey, if what I'm doing is called an a insignificant clitoral orgasm, well, I'll just stay with them. And then, of course, we round it around the corner, and it's like, you don't have to choose either or. It's both. Both. Clitoral stimulation. With vaginal penetration. 